transition our wardrobe from summer to fall and winter. It's an ideal time to tidy and organize our closet spaces. I already admitted to you, mine's a mess. <laughs> Tanya Tonello is here to help. We need it. You have done so many closet cleanses in your life for your, for your clients. What would you right. say is the most common mistake? What are we doing wrong? I don't know about mistake, but what I commonly see is that we're holding on to things that are no longer serving us. Amen! So whether it's not fitting yes. or maybe we spent a lot of money on it and it pains us to release it without wearing it, we're trying mm. to wear it, mm -hmm. but it's taking up space, you're not wearing it. I'm giving permission to you and to the audience yeah. to let it go. Let it go. So that you can bring in some pieces that excite you. Okay. And you've got to really go through it. You do this with the, your clients. That's you've correct. got to put on everything. Be honest with yourself. Yep. Are you just emotionally attached or do you really need this? And then get rid of it. That's right. Okay. So you've done that. Then you say, maybe focus on things like hangers. They're important. Absolutely. So I have a bit of a hanger obsession. And yeah. specifically... You have a hang up on hangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't well know. Well done. Well done. I, don't I liked know. it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tanya. So the velvet <laughs> hangers are my go-to yeah. because they take up so little space. Mm -hmm. Or you can see, Trace, these four together versus these array of plastic and wire <laughs> yes. and all of the, the mishmash here. Yeah. So they, they save on space and then also they're very forgiving. Yeah, um, thin. Yeah, in terms, of, in terms of holding the garment and yeah. its shape. So for example, on this wire yeah. uh, hanger, you know, this is going to dent. It's going to make that little pucker in the shoulder, and then we're going to end up ruining the sweater. That's right. So when you have the velvet, it's going to stay. It's not going to slip, and it's yeah. going to hold that shape through the shoulder. Gra um, pass me one of the velvet ones just so we can get a shot of it, because I know the audience is going to go and buy them, and these are the ones you want to buy. So I have these in my daughter's closet. Do not have them in mine, because like a mom, everybody else is set up except for me. Right, and but I love they're the so divot. good. Everything stays on those. Exactly. Right? That's right. Okay, so you've got the good hangers. Mm -hmm. Now you're saying swap out the stuff you're not wearing. A hundred percent. So we're getting to that time of year yeah. where our linen pieces and summer pieces are not really working for us anymore. Yeah. So yeah, anything that's really overtly summer or read summer, mm -hmm. we're just going to put that if we have a space that's storage we can put it in storage yeah or we're going to put it at the back of our closet or the least accessible place in our closet gotcha okay so you're taking out all of those major summer staples you're putting them in the back of the closet if you have that space Absolutely. what about stuff like those like that's those are beautiful this shorts or a skirt thank you so these are shorts and so okay. i wanted to use this as an example because we'd see shorts and we're like okay summer yeah. however it's um, a heavier fabrication. Yeah. And if you pair it, Tracy, with, you know, some opaque black tights. Nice. And then a turtleneck or a mock neck then and boots, you're good to go for fall winter. Right. So don't discount your shorts. Yes. You really could style them for the fall winter. So go through the things, yeah, that you might be able to be transitional about. Absolutely. Okay, you've got a great tip for organizing our bags. Yes. What have you got for so us? So I found this amazing organizer here. And right now I have all the bags in there. They're but I'm going to so take them out to show you. So yeah. it's essentially like a folder yeah. um, kind of organizer. And so it's really suitable for those smaller clutches or smaller bags. Or even, you know, depending on the size of your purses, you could fit one purse in there. And nice. so now everything's upright. We can see what we have. Things aren't getting toppled. You know, when you have a nice detail on top of a purse, you don't yeah. want that getting squashed by other pieces. That's right. So this keeps them in great shape, and we can see what we have to work with. That is incredible. And was that easy to find? Is that this an online on, thing? This was Amazon. Online. Beautiful. Purse okay, organizer. love that. Really easy. You've got something over there that uh, we should talk about. So that's a little, like, drawer organizer? <laughs> it's a little drawer organizer. It's a little personal because it's from my uh, intimates uh, <laughs> part of my closet. You know, you're loyal to the show when you bring your panties on set. Thanks, Absolutely. Tanya. Let's not get a close-up shot. We appreciate shot. you. Yep, yep, getting very comfortable <laughs> now with City Line. So I love this one, Trace, because... It already has these divisions yeah. within it. So, you know, I have 
whatever. You My, have some few, you have a few yeah, things yeah. happening I was gonna, in there. I was going to categorize them anything, and label them. You've got some socks. That's right, some socks. You've got some, some underwear. Pieces. Yes. You know what you can do? Your primary underwear and your secondary underwear, and you all know what I'm talking about. I love how right? you labeled it that. Primary and secondary, like the what ones a, maybe you want for a hot date and the ones you want for a Saturday night at home alone. A, amen. <laughs> yes. And then this one is great because I just pop it in my drawer, which is under my bed. Yeah. It keeps everything still, and then it has this little hook here as well so yeah it's a perfect little organizational piece for those smaller things loves it and now we got to talk about our footwear because we're gonna we're at that time of year where maybe we're gonna start pulling out some of the boots and whatever the boots that I didn't clean last season so maybe I need to clean now so let's talk about them right so it's boot season mm -hmm. and I think that's quite typical a lot of us don't take care of our boots when yeah. we're wrapping up winter we just don't yeah. want to see them and we shove them away get oh, fa as far away from me as possible <laughs> right. I don't want to think about you again until I see slush that's right and now we're facing the music so mm -hmm. perhaps your boots might you know have some salt stains or maybe they're a little bit dusty yeah so a product that I absolutely love is from Boot Rescue. Ooh. So they actually have an array of products and they're great because they're Canadian, all natural mm -hmm. in terms of you know what makes up all these products. So when you're wiping down your boots or your shoes um, or spraying them, you don't have to worry about you know inhaling yes. these products and going outside. You can do this indoors safely. Beautiful. So I'll just uh, demonstrate here. Although these boots aren't too dirty, but there's yeah. a little bit of dust. They're looking pretty good. Yeah. I so, like that it's easy though. It's just a wipe. It's, it's like a little a makeup wipe. wipe for your boot. A hundred percent. Yeah, and so we're just cleaning them up here. Nice. Then we also have a protective spray. So after we've cleaned them up and let them dry, of course, yeah. then we can spray them and now they're protected from the slush and all those S words that we don't want to talk about <laughs> right now. Right. So this one's still wet, so I'm not going to spray it, um, but you would spray that, set it, and now you can deal with all the elements. And set then last, it and forget it. And, and last but not it. least, that's for like your new buck, your suede. Give Absol it a brush. Absolutely, yep. So that kind of cleans it. Yeah. And then we just are kind of moisturizing that. So dual purpose, again, all from Boot Rescue. Beautiful.